Welcome to the Hawk XR7 channel. Um, we got a great trip ahead of us. I was fortunate enough to draw a mule deer archery tag in Nevada with a friend of mine. And uh, so I'm going to head out here. I'm leaving uh, Roseville, California, uh, going out to a scouting trip, going to check out the area. I've been hunting this area for about uh, 19 years, the Arc Dome Wilderness. Um, got a backpack trip ahead of us. This is a solo trip, but uh, it's a, an area that I'm well, uh, well accustomed to and uh, look forward to the trip. Um, got a, a few miles ahead of us to, to, to drive, but uh, I'm really looking forward to this trip. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get on top of some nice mule deer. I'm gonna check out my, uh, my food cache. Last time I was up here was three years ago. Uh, so hopefully the food cache is intact and we'll check that out but uh, looking forward to the trip thanks for joining and uh, we'll see how we how we go just some really nice uh, scenery as we're going over the Sierra Nevada mountains on highway 80 uh, we're getting close to the summit um, Donner Pass Donner Lake and um, yeah, I think we're at about 5,500 feet right now. Just some nice areas up here. But the mule deer are in Nevada, so that's where we're going. All right, we're coming up on Reno. Making good progress. Ended up pulling into this uh campground just outside of Austin, uh, Nevada and I uh, just put my sleeping bag down on the bottom a six foot bed unfortunately I'm six foot seven so I try to go diagonal still pretty cramped but um, no not a bad bad spot no no fees involved and it's just pull off the side of the Highway 50 and it has uh, not, not bad for just a quick night. Okay, we're in Carvert and uh, just stopped here at this place. Last time I was here uh, was three years ago. My Ford Explorer threw a rod and I was completely stranded. The engine was destroyed and uh, we parked right there underneath that tree came in here had some food and had to wait for quite a while until we were able to get a, a tow truck to tow us back to Fallon for repairs. Hopefully I have better luck this time. These old structures are pretty interesting here. trailhead and um, there's no one else here so I don't anticipate we're going to be running into many people but uh, got about a 40 pound backpack it's pretty light um, could have been lighter but got some extra Gatorades in there and uh, yeah uh, the truck's locked up it's about uh, 8 30 Got about a six mile backpack in. So let's get started. I got a new sign here Arc Dome Wilderness. A little map for you. Okay. Well, this is a good sign. Close to the trailhead. We have some flowing water. It might have been some just recent rains. I know as I was driving into Austin. Last night I got hit by a, a lightning storm that rained pretty hard. And then as I came through Austin, it just completely cleared up. But uh, no, this is a good sign. Well, I'm making good progress, but uh, it's starting to rain on me. <laughs> I thought the weather was gonna be good. I left my rain gear in the, in the uh, truck. It just looks, looks like it's gonna be something small. If it gets too much, I'll have to set up my tent and get in my tent. But, uh, yeah, interesting. 
This is typically my first campsite, and uh, it uh, was only 45 minutes to get in from the trailhead. I don't know what this this little shack is, but uh, this is the best camp spot here. Sometimes there's water down there, sometimes not. There's probably no water down there now, but uh, just thought I'd take a little break. There's some fire, some little fire pits, a little gear review. I got my uh, Kafaru Long Hunter backpack. And uh, I'm packing with some uh, hiking poles. As I have a new tent, a Trail Heart So Long 6, which uh, either you can get extra poles or you just use hiking poles. And uh, it's a good sized tent. It's, uh, you know, good size for me anyway. <clears throat> and uh, with, uh, with a weight of only two pounds, it's, uh, it's uh, not very light as well. Anyways, on uh, myself, I'm actually going with uh, just jogging shoes. The pack's pretty light. So, uh, we'll see how that works, a la Ray Jardine and his ultra lightweight backpacking book. And um, <clears throat> I got my Ruger single six here. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to have a good trip. And uh, no issues. There's no one on the trailhead, so, you know, I'm probably not going to see anyone on this trip most likely. But we'll see. Nice uh, tiger swallowtails. A couple of them there. It's kind of cool. They're just hanging out. Oh, it looks like a viceroy. It just came through. That's neat. They're in good shape. They're in really good shape. Got some good water here. There's a spring up ahead. This flows out of. So that's good. Okay, we're making some good progress here. Came from way down there. And uh, now we're just coming up this way. Gotta get up that hill there. That's a steep one. We'll see what we can do. Feeling pretty good. The shoes feel good. It's probably about 65 degrees outside. Maybe 68, somewhere in there. It's, you know, it's it's very comfortable. Uh, a little bit of a wind. Don't know about the weather. Could be some weather coming in. Um, it seems very scattered though. So we'll see. All right. It's getting windy. Made it up through that area. Just over two and a half hours. Uh, that's not looking too inviting there. So that uh, I don't think it's going to be a threat. But uh, no, so far so good. And uh, we'll just uh, make our way up the hill. We made most of the elevation gain just through that hill climb there. And we're just gonna head up through here, then over a couple, a couple of ridges, and then I'm at my base camp. So I should be back there. I don't know, hour, hour and a half, somewhere in there. Let's see. Okay. Ended up getting hit up here at uh, 12:30. Four hours to get up. This is the camp spot. I've always been camping. That's right here. And uh, it's evident that someone's been in there and chopping away. So I'm gonna have lunch and uh, then go find my cash, food cash, and then go down and uh, get some water. Um, yeah, it's it was raining on me for a bit there, and uh, no good. But uh, got the tent set up, got my hair set up. <laughs> And uh, we should be okay. We should be okay. So have a good. We'll have. We'll have a good lunch, and uh, and 
then we'll uh, take off from there, find our cash, and get some water. All right. Okay. I found the food cache. Uh, it was undisturbed. And, um, yeah, we got quite a few Mountain House meals there. And other odds and ends. I think this is a good ca This is a good find. I'm glad that it wasn't uh, affected. Um, I'm going to try some of these Mountain House meals, see how they taste. Um, it's been three years since we put this cache up there. Uh, so it's been hit with quite a bit of rain and snow and stuff, but I'm sure the Mountain House will be good. We'll check it out. We were just hit by a hailstorm. I took a little snooze. Got hit by a hailstorm. But um, now I'm ready. I got my pack unloaded and um, I'm going to go down and get some water. Need to bring water up to the high camp because there is no water at all available. So it's an extra chore but it has to be done. So hopefully we'll see a deer on the, on the way but we'll see. Aspens, which uh, is where the horse camp is. It's a whole ways out there. Let's see, out there, that's where the water comes down. So I gotta walk all the way out there, coming down through here. Let's see how long it takes. See some deer up here. I got my first mule deer in here 19 years ago. I don't have my binoculars with me, but you should be able to see them here. on that guy. Oh. At least it looks that way. I'm going to see the guy move. He's looking at us. Alright, just got back from getting the water. And it's 5 o'clock. <laughs> that was very taxing physically. Ways to go, <clears throat> and the elevation is about 10,000 feet here, so it's a, it makes it makes it difficult. But we got the water, and uh, now we're going to do some scouting. Okay, leaving the camp behind. We're going to go on a little scout. See if we can find any deer. It's cleared up the weather, so it's nice. Hopefully. It uh, do you like it? We are really up here now. High elevation. stood up. That's a nice set of horn antlers. He's the one on the far left. He was sitting underneath that little little juniper. Those other guys 
guys are looking at me. And then he noticed something going on, so he, he got up. And then there's a, a doe a little bit closer. Long, strenuous day. Saw six bucks. Um, one monster. The first one I saw was a monster. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we do tomorrow. This is, this is tough. Uh, 10,000 foot elevation. A lot of steep climbing. You got to go in light for sure. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Okay, packed up. That was the sight. As good as it was before. Ready to, to go. It's uh, 40 degrees in the morning, much colder than I anticipated, and uh, it rained most of the night. And it's starting to clear up a little bit, but I'm going to go down right now before I get hit with a, a storm, given that I have all my rain gear in the truck. So, uh, okay. Okay, I made it out. Took uh, three hours and 15 minutes to get out and four hours to go in. There's another couple that came in. Looks like they're just day hiking. They're gonna go fishing. So they got quite a trip to get to the Reese River and then come back out. But um, yeah, looks like they had the energy. But this was a tough hike. Um, definitely gonna have to prepare more for the hunt coming up. All right.